In other words, the previous surah was talking about people trying to get more and more and more, and then Allah says, no, the reality is you are in loss. No matter how much you think you've gained, the reality is that you are situated in a, in a position of loss, subhanAllah. You know, if you're created to, to meet success, then it's a tragedy that you're, you, you, you're even qualified to be successful, and yet still you ended up being a loser. You still ended up losing. So Allah Azza wa Jal did not tell us that the human being is in loss first, he told us the human being is qualified to be successful first. And it's his own failure that leads him to become of those who have lost. In the insan al This comes later on. But that declaration is earlier. In this surah, Allah Azza wa Jal mentions four things at the end. You all know this. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ Four things. But three of those, or two, the last two things that are tawasi over and over, وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ They're both actions. Roughly translated, they are communicated as enjoin the, to enjoin the truth, to enjoin perseverance. That's how an average translation addresses the subject matter of وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ But they're actions. What's the ayah? What's the part of the ayah before that? وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ they do good things, they act, right, they, they, they act out righteous deeds. Isn't that also actions? So Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions iman, which is a thing inside of you. It's not outside, it's on the inside. Then he mentions amal, wa amilu salihat. But he usually only says those two things, he doesn't go further. But here what does he, he say? Wa amilu salihat, and then adds two different specific kinds of actions. Wa tawasu bil haqq. It could have been It could have been any other action too. But he highlighted two actions. The lesson from that is these are the actions that people will overlook. And as we continue our study of the surah, we will find why is it critical to mention these actions. Other actions you will understand. Wa amilu salihat. By the way, when you tell someone they, he does good things, he's a good Muslim. He does good things. What things come to your mind? He prays. He goes to Hajj. He fasts in Ramadan. He stays away from haram things. This is what comes to your mind. These are the first things that pop in the mind. This is a good person. He does good things. What things don't come to your mind? Tawasi bil haq and. It's critical that these things be mentioned because they cannot be overlooked. But in this last exception, human beings are in loss except two. And I'm again roughly translating those who believed, acted righteously, or did righteous good did good righteous works, and then enjoined each other to truth and enjoined each other to perseverance. But in between those four things, there's an and. Except those who did this and they did this and they did this and they did this. You know what uh, wa does as opposed to aw, right? Well, what it is, is it's something you have to meet. If, if the exception is, the only exception to these people are people who do A and B and C and D. Which means how many of those things do they have to do? All of them. If you put an or in between them, what happens? You could do some, you could do some others, right? But if you put and in between them, then the only people who will meet the exception are people who fulfill all the conditions. Not some of them. They can't afford to only have some of the conditions met. They need all those conditions. So this declaration in this surah is very powerful, and the exception is only one exception, but anyone who wants to be the exception will have to meet four conditions. Usually in the Qur'an, Allah mentions two conditions. Which two conditions? الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those two mentions two conditions. But in this surah, He mentions how many? He mentions four conditions. This is the most comprehensive place, most elaborate place, talking about the exception to those who are in a state of loss. And we'll see inshaAllah ta'ala as we proceed, why that is.